February 18th, 2021. The date of an interplanetary invasion. After a journey of 300 million miles, the alien invaders finally arrive, only to set loose a machine that's been designed to sleeplessly wander the landscape for years to come. It's been equipped with nuclear power, artificial intelligence, and vaporizing high-intensity laser eyes. Well, that's NASA's plan, anyways. This is the next chapter in Earth's exploration of Mars. On a clear night in February 2021, we can see Mars high overhead at sunset, gradually rolling over toward the west and setting by about 1 a.m. It's usually pretty easy to spot. Mars will be fairly bright, distinctly orange, and not twinkling like a star does. Through a small telescope, it's possible to see the planet's round shape, its rusty orange color, and sometimes it's possible to identify large features, like its ice caps. But the team behind the Mars 2020 mission is about to get a much closer view. Mars 2020 launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on the morning of July 30th of 2020. It was planned to take advantage of the timing relationship between Earth's orbit and Mars's orbit. When Earth and Mars are on opposite sides of the Sun, they can be up to 250 million miles apart. But when Earth and Mars are on the same side of the Sun, which happens about every 26 months, that distance is much smaller. It can get as close as 35 million miles instead of 250. Granted, that's still a really long way, but it's a big difference to an interplanetary mission planner. After boosting itself away from Earth at nearly 25,000 miles per hour, the mission finally arrives for a Mars landing February 18th, 2021, at a place called Jezero Crater. The Perseverance rover is about the size and weight of a classic Volkswagen Beetle, and is stuffed with instruments and sensors to study the Martian dirt and air. The rover's sensors, including the laser eyes, which can read what rocks are made from by vaporizing little bits of them, these sensors will allow us to study Jezero Crater. We like landing in Mars craters because the impact should have stirred up some layers of crust and served them to us like a buffet to study. Also, this landing site is right on a feature that looks for all the world like a dried out river delta. We are now pretty confident that Mars used to have water flowing in lots of places based on mineralogical evidence from past missions. We don't fully understand the circumstances that cause a planet to spawn life, but based on what we've learned from Earth biology, liquid water is essential. So one of the great reasons we use surface rovers to explore Mars is to sniff around places we think used to be wet. If this feature in Jezero Crater is, in fact, a river delta, it should have plenty of clay and sediments for us to explore. On Earth, these are places we'd look for ancient fossils, and that's basically the logic to searching places like this on Mars, too. We won't know unless we look. If you want to watch along and join the excitement, the Perseverance Landing Livestream begins February 18th, 12.15 p.m. Mountain Time on NASA's YouTube channel. Check for up-to-date mission news at nasa.gov perseverance and check back with us as we follow the unfolding story. Thanks for watching.